This is Neymar Jr., one of the most gifted players ever, with unmatched flair and brilliant tricks in his arsenal. A player who most definitely failed to unleash the full potential of his immense talent in real life. Today we are going to replay his career, but this time Neymar begins his journey in the desert as a promising young superstar at Al Hilal. It is fair to say that he took the Saudi league by a storm, scoring 16 times and giving 7 assists right before the final game against Ronaldo's Al Nasser, the match that will decide the Saudi league winner. Al Nasser and Cristiano started the game extremely aggressively, leading 2-0 already in the 20th minute. Soon enough Neymar decided to take mana into his hands, scoring his first of the night. In the second half he managed to score the equalizer after a terrific solo play and near the end of the game he had one more moment of brilliance. He nearly netted his third of the night but the ball bounced back from the post right to his teammate who buried it home winning the league title for Al Hilal. Such an amazing debut season from Brazilian caught the attention of many European clubs. But it was Borussia Dortmund who hijacked Neymar's transfer, paying his release close of 60 million euros. Neymar did not waste a single game for adaptation to the new league and started scoring the goals for fun right away. But the main force in the Bundesliga were Bayern, and Dortmund did not stand a single chance in the title race. More painfully, the beast got eliminated from the Champions League in the quarterfinals from Real Madrid. But in individual level, that was a decent debut season for Neymar in Europe with 19 goals and 10 assists to his name. Meanwhile in the desert, there were a new diamond in making. Vitor Enrique de Souza, or simply Vitinho, started to make himself a name of the new footballing sensation, scoring 19 times and providing 16 assists in the Saudi League for Al Etihad and winning both the league and the Best Young Player award as well. That fantastic display earned him a move to Europe, to Dortmund's biggest rival Bayern Munich. And the rivalry between two Brazilian wingers began. Borussia Dortmund signed Darwin Nunez to help them win the Bundesliga over Bayern Munich. And on top of that, Neymar elevated his game to the new heights, scoring 29 times and giving 10 assists during his second season in Dortmund. He even scored the decisive goal against Eintracht to win the German Cup, his first ever trophy in Europe. But on the contrary, arrival of Vitinho made Bayern even stronger. He was the essential part of the team's success with 20 goals and 7 assists. They did not face any challenges in the league, once again securing back-to-back -back titles. The third season in Germany, Neymar started brilliantly, scoring left, right and center. He is going to win the top scorer race in the league eventually. But he was especially productive in the Champions League, with 9 goals and 5 assists, scoring nice. in every knockout phase. Firstly, he netted an absolute beauty of a goal against Olympique Marseille in the round of 16. In the quarterfinals, he scored against PSV Eindhoven as well. But in the semis, Liverpool were much stronger in the second game of the tie. And although Neymar scored once again, it was not enough to grab a win and secure the Champions League final spot for his team. Match went up to the penalty shootout, where Liverpool managed to beat their opponents 5-4, killing all hopes for Neymar to become the Champions League winner with Borussia. The only trophy that Borussia won this year was the DFB Pokal again and just like a year ago Neymar scored the only goal of the game, but this time Dortmund beat Bayern with Vitinho in the squad. The latter had another successful season in Munich with 28 goals and did earn a record-breaking move to Manchester to join the newly crowned European champions Manchester City. With a total fee of 200 million euros plus 50 million on bonuses, citizens got themselves Vitinho, as many called the new Ronaldinho. But that transfer was not the only groundbreaking one for English clubs this summer. Liverpool snapped the transfer of Neymar for about 222 million Euros, signing most probably the future Ballon d'Or winner. But from the start, the Premier League was tough for Neymar. He was not ready for that amount of physical contact on the pitch and he needed to adapt his game quickly to the new realities. But soon he found his form back, scoring against the teams from the Big Six, like Chelsea and Spurs. But unexpectedly for Neymar and a whole world, for us football decided not to include him in the top 4 candidates for the Ballon d'Or, but they did include Vitinho instead. However, the announced winner was of course Erling Haaland, who won the Champions League with City prior season. 
jumping to the end of this season. City is going to win the league ahead of Liverpool, but Reds were more focused on the Champions League rather than on domestic competitions. Neymar continued to perform in the biggest stage of the European club football to lead his team to the semis against PSG. The first game Liverpool lost at Anfield 1-0, so as expected, the second game of the tie in Paris was pretty intense. Joao Pedro from Liverpool scored the only goal in normal time after Neymar's assist to take the game to extra time. And it was Neymar who netted the winner in the 113th minute to give Liverpool yet another chance to win the Champions League. In the final itself, Liverpool faced Bayern and were the first to burst out, scoring already in the 20th minute after a corner kick. Bayern Munich did not create a lot of goal-scoring opportunities that night, forcing Alisson to interrupt the game just a couple of times. And the last-minute save from Liverpool's goalie secured the ultimate trophy for his team and the first for Neymar himself. He had an unbelievable season, the best in his career yet, scoring 35 times and providing 20 assists as well, even winning the Player of the Season award in the Premier League. Surely he fancied his chance to win the Ballon d'Or for such an impressive season. Even more, winning the UEFA Super Cup right in the beginning of the next season was another step closer to desired award. And as anticipated, Neymar was nominated for the Ballon d'Or first time in his career. But for some weird reason, France football did him dirty and gave it to Erling Haaland again. But it actually motivated Neymar to make it to yet another Champions League final in back-to-back -back seasons, but unfortunately Brazilian got injured before the final game against Inter. It was all tight between two teams and penalties decided the winner. To say that it was close will be a big understatement. Each and every kick from the spot were successful. Goalkeepers of two clubs were desperate to make a single save and it seems that shootout won't end until it was goalie's turn to shoot. But the eighth shot from Liverpool was a disaster. Colwell put the ball way off the target, letting Inter raise the ultimate trophy. That match appeared to be the last one for Neymar at Merseyside. In the summer transfer window, one of the best players in the world decided to move away from the Premier League after failing to decrown Manchester City in two consecutive seasons. And on top of that, his rival Vitinho won the league two times out of two, outscoring Neymar eventually. FC Barcelona put all their money to afford Neymar's transfer and they somehow managed to sign him for 150 million euros. But to fulfill his dream to play for the Blaugranas, Neymar had to join a much weaker team in Catalonia compared to the one that made three consecutive UCL finals. A bunch of Spanish youngsters from La Masia were the only hope for Barca to eventually claim back to the European football throne and Neymar should lead them as one of the best players in the world. A controversial first season for Neymar in Barcelona was filled with painful losses and absolutely insane goals like the one he scored in El Clasico at Santiago Bernabeu. He was undeniably the best player in the team with 32 goals and 17 assists but it was not enough to even secure the Champions League football for the next season. From bad to worse, such unstable performances from the Blaugranas made Lamine Yamal leave the club for Manchester City. Citizens had to steal Yamal from Barca as they needed to fill the gap in attack after Vitinho's departure. Real Madrid continued their policy of signing the best players in the world and Vitinho was the next big transfer they successfully accomplished. To even have a small chance to compete against Madrid, Barca spent most of the money earned from Yamal's transfer to sign the best young player in the world, an upcoming sensation from MLS, Argentinian right-winger Hector Murillo. Neymar and Murillo made a deadly partnership up front to lead Barca's attack. Meanwhile, Vitinho was nominated for the Ballon d'Or one more time, but again he lost it to his new teammate. This time it was Vinicius Jr. And these two combined scored more than 50 goals and recorded 20 assists to secure yet another La Liga title and the Copa del Rey for Real Madrid. The only competition left for Barca was the Europa League, where Neymar and Murillo led their team to the final against Chelsea. In a first half, Argentinian scored a beautiful long-range goal to give Barca a lead. 
To be perfectly honest, Chelsea did not create a single chance that night. Barca could have easily doubled their lead in the second half, but every shot came a little bit short. However, that score was enough to secure the Europa League trophy for the club. Surprisingly, arrival of Murillo overshadowed even Neymar's brilliant debut season. But absence of a clinical number 9 was one and only obvious weakness of this team. So Barcelona went out and signed a Uruguayan striker Inacio Serrano to complete the attacking trio of Murillo, Serrano and Neymar. The season for Barca started with yet another trophy. Neymar Jr. scored against Manchester City to secure the UEFA Super Cup for Barcelona. But yet another Champions League for Haaland meant only one thing, he grabbed his fourth Ballon d'Or already. It was clear as day, if Neymar wants to win the ultimate individual award in football, he got to win the Champions League. But that was going to be extremely hard to do as in the semi-finals Barca matched up against Bayern Munich and lost the first game 2 to none. In a second game at Allianz Stadium, Murillo banged a screamer in a second half to give a hope to his teammates. And Barca was extremely close to equalize the score near the end of the game. But Neymar's free kick from a tightest angle was denied by a post. And that was it. Barca left the competition, just one step short of the final. The Blaugranas led by Murillo and Neymar did not manage to win the La Liga as well. And if that was not enough, Real Madrid made it to the Champions League final to face Inter Milan. The Blancos were the better side that night and deservedly won another Champions League. And that was the second title for Vitinho, who by the way was the best goal scorer of the team. But suddenly, France football decided to surprise everyone and didn't give even a single nomination for the Ballon d'Or to any of Real Madrid players. And a random dude from Spurs won the award. I'm not sure if we can count it as a trophy for Spurs, however. But the 10th season was a pinnacle of Neymar's career, as both La Liga and the Champions League winners were going to be decided among two best teams in Spain and maybe in a world, Barca and Madrid. And the Blaugranas had a unique opportunity to win the league at Santiago Bernabeu, which they eventually took with both hands with a winning goal from Murillo. But the main battle was still ahead. The El Clasico in the Champions League final, it is not getting bigger than that. But unfortunately for Barca fans, it is Real Madrid Street, and more precisely Vitinho who opened the score from the spot. But Neymar was on fire that night with 100% determination to win for Barca the Champions League trophy. He scored the equalizer soon after Vitinho's goal. In a 73rd minute he got a brilliant ball from Murillo, a touch, a fake shot and the ball is in the net. Neymar Jr with his second of the night. But even that was not the end. He scored his third of the night in the dying seconds of the game, completing a hat-trick in the Champions League final and crashing Real Madrid and his biggest rival Vitinho's hopes to win the second consecutive trophy. A perfect ending of a season for the Blaugranas and especially for Neymar Jr. Identical numbers from Murillo and Neymar Jr for this season, but Neymar played significantly less games and scored an all decisive hat-trick of the season. As expected, MSN Trio is nominated for the Ballon d'Or, but of course it is going to be Neymar who lifts it after that incredible season finale. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch me start new football rivalry between Yamal and Andrik.